salt analysis, practical viewer questions, analysis of cations using group. Give number of groups for identification of cations by salt analysis. The cations are divided in total 6 groups for doing salt analysis. Give names of cations present in groups and give reagents for testing these ions. The cation and reagent used for testing them is as follows. This is very important part in a doing salt analysis. You have to remember group number and cations present in that group. These groups are classified on a basis of solubility product value. Usually the salt which have a lower solubility value come first. They are placed in a first group or group 1 and the salt which have a higher solubility value comes after, after first group or you can say these groups are based on a solubility product in a increasing order of solubility product. Now group 1, reagent used for group 1 is dilute HCl. Cations may present is Hg+, Ag+, Pb+, 2. When you are adding salt solution in a dilute HCl or you'll, uh, you can do vice versa also like you can add dilute HCl in a salt solution then you will get precipitate of metal as a metal chloride. Suppose you have a Ag plus ion then Ag plus ions gets precipitated as a AgCl. You will get white precipitate of AgCl. If you have a Pb plus 2 ion in a solution then you will get PbCl to white precipitate. Now this white precipitate can, precipitate can be further tested uh, for metal ions that is called as a confirmatory test. If group 1 is absent that means you are not getting white precipitate by performing first test then proceed for a group test uh, group uh, 2 test for this reagent use is a dilute HCl and H2S gas we are passing uh, H2S gas through acidified salt solution for doing acidification we are using dilute HCl if uh, if PB plus 2 is present then you will get precipitate of lead sulfide if copper is present then you will get precipitate of cuprous sulfide CUS the color of precipitate is usually dark here like cuprous sulfide has a dark color precipitate if you are getting precipitate for group 2 radical then do confirmatory test for these radicals otherwise proceed for group 3 test for group 3 we are using reagent mixture of ammonium chloride and ammonium hydroxide aqua solution. We will add this mixture in a salt solution. <coughs> the metals are precipitated as a metal hydroxide. Suppose you have Fe plus 3 ions then you will get reddish brown precipitate of FeOH thrice. If you are not getting precipitate for group 3 then proceed for group 4 test. For group 4 you will use mixture of ammonium chloride and ammonium hydroxide. In this aqueous solution pass H2S gas and then put this solution in a salt solution. Then metal ions gets precipitated as a metal sulphide. Group 2 cations are Ni plus 2, CO plus 2, Mn plus 2 or Zn plus 2. Any of these ions can be present in your salt if you are getting precipitate for group 4. If group 4 is absent that means you are not getting uh, precipitate then proceed for group 5 test. For group 5 we are using aqueous solution of ammonium chloride, ammonium hydroxide and ammonium carbonate. We will add this aqueous solution in a salt solution and, uh, and test for whether you are getting precipitate or not. If Ca plus 2 ion is present then you will get precipitate, white precipitate of calcium carbonate. If Ba plus 2 is present then you will get white precipitate for barium carbonate. If strontium plus 2 is present then you will get precipitate for strontium carbonate. If you are not getting uh, white precipitate for group 5 then proceed for group 6. Usually we do test for group 6 first. Suppose ammonia
what is the criteria used for the classification of cation groups for salt analysis the different salt have a different solubility product this ksp criteria is used for salt analysis ksp means solubility product constant why h2s gas that is hydrogen sulfide gas is passed through acidic solution of salt while testing for group 2 ions answer sulfides of basic radicals of group 2 are precipitated by passing hydrogen sulfide gas through the acidified solution of salt now suppose given salt contains cu plus 2 ion then it reacts with the hydrogen sulfide and cupric sulfide as a precipitate we'll get black color precipitate of cupric sulfide as group 2 cations form sulfides having a lower value of solubility product than other group metal we need low concentration of sulfide ions which is achieved by passing hydrogen sulfide through hcl solution due to common ion effect dissociation of h2s gas gets suppressed and we will get low concentration of sulfide ions at this low concentration of sulfide ions we will get precipitate of only group 2 radicals why mixture of nh4oh and nh4cl is used for analysis of group 3 radicals answer hydroxide of basic radicals of group 2 are precipitated by using mixture of ammonium hydroxide and ammonium chloride here we require actually hydroxide ion suppose group 3 a uh, basic radical fe plus 3 is present in a salt solution then that fe plus 3 react with nh4oh giving you reddish brown precipitate of feoh thrice as group 3 cation form hydroxide having lower value of solubility product than other group metal we needed low concentration of hydroxide ion which is achieved by adding ammonium chloride in nh4oh solution due to common ion effect dissociation of nh4oh gets suppressed and you'll get low concentration of hydroxide ion at this low concentration of hydroxide ion you'll get precipitate of only group 3 cation give test to identify ammonium ion in a salt treat salt with alkali like naoh and give slight heating the ammonia gas evolve which has a particular smell suppose the given salt is ammonium chloride you have to heat this ammonium chloride salt with a naoh which is alkali you will get nacl water and ammonia gas is evolve the smell of ammonia gas is a particular smell so you can identify that given salt is a ammonium salt give any four colored basic radicals cu plus 2 uh, which is blue in color ni plus 2 light green fe plus 2 light greenish yellow in color now what is a basic radical if you are taking any acid like hcl if you are removing positive part of hcl that is h plus ion and put one ion there like na plus then you will get salt nacl so in nacl you got na plus which is positive ion by replacing hydrogen which is positive part of hcl hence na plus is called as a basic radical so usually positive metal ions are basic radicals and uh, negative ions like cl minus so4 minus 2 that is sulfate ions nitrate ions are called as a uh, acidic radicals Thank you.